Hey Hope, it is Emily and you can see I'm cooking up some spaghetti before my small group tonight. And tonight I'm going to show you what it looks like to do small group from your home digitally. That's right. You heard me digitally. So it can be kind of scary if you've never used Zoom or even FaceTime, a digital platform to host a small group. You're like, what does that even look like? How does it work? I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I created a Zoom group for my small group and at the right time all of the women in my group they're gonna click that link and you'll see their faces pop up and we'll begin to have group together digitally so let me show you how I created a zoom group if you've never used zoom before it's basically like Skype um, it's like FaceTime it's a program you can download to your computer your tablet your phone and you can set up meetings um, you can set up hangout groups and then send that specific link to whoever you want to join the meeting. So right now I'm going to show you how you can set up a Zoom meeting for your small group. Take a look at my computer. Okay, so right now you're looking at my computer screen. You can see right here that I have downloaded the Zoom app to my laptop. You don't have to do that. You can do it from your web browser, but you'll create a Zoom account. And then in your account, you have options for a new meeting. You can join a meeting, schedule a meeting, or even share your screen. We're going to go ahead and schedule a meeting. So we're gonna title this small group. And then you can pick your date, you can pick your time. So let's set this one for eight o'clock p.m. You can even set how long it's gonna go. Is it an hour, 45 minutes? You can make it recurring. So if your group meets every single time, set it to recurring. You can generate automatically your meeting ID. Um, you can choose if you even wanna have a password. I'm not gonna have a password to join mine. Then here, I'm gonna click I want the video on because the point of our small group is we wanna be able to see each other. So I click video on so people can see. Then you can click what calendar you wanna save it to, maybe you're a Google Calendar user or an iCal, and then you'll click schedule. It'll open up to your calendar, you can save it, and then send your calendar invites. I'll show you what that looks like next. Now you can see that it populated in my calendar and that's the link. So I'll copy that link and I'll send it out to all my small group uh, members and they'll be able to click that link for the time we set eight o'clock and join via Zoom. See how easy that was? So I'm gonna get back to finishing up my spaghetti, have some dinner before my group meets tonight, but then I'm going to show you what it looks like when your group meets on Zoom. I'll see you in a little bit. That spaghetti was delicious. Now it's time for small group. So I'm going to go ahead and start our Zoom call and I will let you be a little fly on the wall as everybody joins in so you can see what small group on Zoom looks like. So you can see some of my small groups joining in. Hey, Crystal! Hi! <laughs> Renee is joining up here. So I'm going to show you guys a Zoom hack. Click gallery view right up here and then you can see everybody's faces more easily. So it's time for me to dive into small group. Y'all can't say like fly on the wall the whole time, but this is what small group via Zoom looks like. Wow, what an incredible small group. It just ended and it was a great time just encouraging one another praying for each other, challenging each other to become who God made us to be. And that's the whole point of small group. So today I give you a sneak peek at a small group in your home, but on your computer through Zoom. It is so easy. And I know that as you gather your friends, your community, your tribe, your small group, that this will be an incredible resource for you to gather digitally and do life together.